Hello everybody, my name is Matthew, and I'm back playing Space Camp. Now last time you saw me playing with my niece, she's not here, unfortunately. But today we're going to finish off with what we started. So we ended up talking to Jim. Are you set to leave now? Excitement awaits. <clears throat> um, we are, should we apologize? The sound was off for us. Meaning, we didn't hear it. Which means, <laughs> you heard, you, we were talking, we were saying it, so you guys could, could hear it. No, we don't need to anymore. Good, my throat's gone. Okay, yes. All right, we're gonna head out to the rocket now. Okay. The Lunar Lander 1 is the pride of the Constellation Project. And you're about to sit in an actual cockpit that astronauts use when traveling to the moon. Yay! A very important note, though. Don't touch anything. This is a very advanced machine. Okay. Why we're letting people incite it is beyond me, but I don't make the rules, so here we go. Wonderful. I need to. Mission control. There should be a way contained in the communication room. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh, thank goodness. You made it. And activated the communication relay to boot. See? This type of ingenuity is... Ex You're on the moon, my friend. The moon! Actually, inside Moon Base 1, to be more specific. But don't worry. We're gonna get you home. Ah, had to hit some of those buttons, didn't you? The craft happened to be going through a battery of tests. You must have accidentally activated the newly installed launch override, initiating the firing sequence. Why? I know, we're all just as surprised down here as you are. Heck, at least the automatic flight computer worked, right? Gosh, I am so jealous of you right now. What? Are you kidding? No, think about it. the hallways of Moon Base One. Everything you see around you was planted there by autonomous spacecraft. The first astronauts aren't scheduled to arrive for another six months. Am I going to be okay? Uh, of course you are. Even though the station isn't finished yet, it's more than capable of sustaining human life for years. And let's see here. We can get another craft to you in... Let's see, wait. Is this right? A year? The second rocket is still a ways from being finished, but the engineers here at Mission Control say that we have 
option. Well, we're still going over the data. First up, though, let's get an idea of how your fuel situation is. <sighs> I need you to go to the fuel processing room. It should be through a door to your right. Talk to your ARP for more information once you're inside. Okay. Oh, wait, that was right there. Greetings. It seems as if we have a situation here. Still processing data. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Completed. Oh my. Well then, our first objective is to confirm that the fuel synthesizer is functioning. The What's fuel that? synthesizer can take <coughs> raw energy and use it to convert the inert elements it contains into rocket fuel. I have a small reserve of energy. Please take this and interact with the oh, yeah, energy. So I really like one percent. Let us return to the communication. <laughs> Back so soon? And the fuel synthesizer works? That's excellent news! Let's see, according to our readout here, the bit of energy you put into the machine has made 0.023% of the total fuel you'll need to get back home. That's right, you won't have to wait around there for us. Moonbase 1 is almost fully operational. And according to our scientist, you have all the tools you'll need to fully refuel Lunar Lander 1 for the flight home. Okay. It'll take just a little backbreaking work on your end. Isn't that exciting? I'm sure. Well, there will be a little danger, mind you, but also lots of fun. To get those fuel tanks to 100%, you're going to have to explore the lunar landscape for uh. special moon rocks and refine them for their base elements. Really? I don't want to do that. Are you ready to hit the moon surface? Yes. That's great to hear. Now, look around this area for five lockers with blinking green lights. We've just opened them up for you remotely, and they should contain everything you need for your adventures on the moon surface. <laughs> what am I collecting? A space helmet, space suit top, space suit pants, and space suit shoes so you can walk around outside, and a moon shovel to help you dig up element rich moon rocks that are just under the surface. <sighs> okay. Once you have all five items. <laughs> Space suit up. Space suit shoes. Space suit pants. Excellent job. Now let us repeat. Hey, we can go back. I got this, guys. I'm gonna make your home. I see you have everything you need. That's fantastic. I'm ready to go. Okay, before we jump outside, here's some important information. Now you can change your clothes whenever you want while you're inside a moon base habitat. So you can walk around in your spacesuit or normal clothes, but not when you're outside. Well, that makes sense. Sure. There are different suit models around the habitats for testing purposes. If you look around.
around carefully, you'll be able to find all types of next generation spacesuits. Hey. All right, enough talking for now. Let's get started. Remember that from your training? Yep. Those are areas your suit highlights to indicate the presence of element rich moon rocks. Yep. Just dig them up with your moon shovel. Sounds easy. It is. Once you collect a bunch, head over to the science habitat to refine the rocks. It'll be on the east side of the lunar landscape. Good luck. <laughs> storage units now contain 10 rocks. Let us travel to the science habitat. <laughs> hey. 
I saw it. I'd really like if I could have like a map <laughs> of the entire thing. And then I only have like uncovered what I've seen. La 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 la. <laughs> La 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 Oh my! It seems the circuit board that before we can repair it, let us enter the construction habitat. We should enter the construction habitat. We should enter the construction habitat. On the west side? <laughs> Grumble! <sighs> this would totally be a great... Wait. So I need to go all the way to the other side. item fabrication machine and interact with it. Mm -hmm. Item fabrication requires metal, and we do not currently have any. Mm -hmm. Unfinished robot. <laughs> Will I be like authorized to do everything at some point? currently only has one diagram installed, allowing us to make a connection con to get started, interact with the item fabric. Okay, click. Okay, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh. This is a lot of. I'm, I did notice that all of these, like, the bays have a different color. The main area, the one that we were in, was blue. This one was yellow, and then the science one was green. Dig. Rock. Oh. 
<sighs> so now we just do that. Here we are. If you wish to repair the board, we will have to use one of your connection conduits. Do not worry though. Even if you fail to fix the circuit, the conduit will remain in place. Okay. Fix this, boy! Uh. Uh. Okay. I'm sorry. I can get it, it connects just choo 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 Oh bo 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 da da ba da 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 ba 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 da Good job! You will also be able to use this method to open up lunar lockers on the moon surface and within the habitat. Please note though that there are three levels of circuit board repair and I am currently only programmed to assist with the first level. Now that we are inside, please locate the two ore extraction machine. Yes, one breaks down moon rocks into metal. The other extracts the helium-3 element from rocks. These machines can process up to 10 moon rocks at a time. Turn the rocks you have into metal or energy. Well, I don't need energy. Metal will be needed. I have a hundred energy from that solar panel. Good job. You have please stand by. Um, he wishes to speak with you. Let us return.
I built a space station in Minecraft. I did do that. I wonder what happened to it. <laughs> I haven't been on it recently. Here on a super flat world. A super flat world that I made to look like Mars. So, just don't know what happened to it, but. <coughs> <coughs> what am I choking on? Mm. I'm not sick. I am. Hey there! You have both the science and construction hat. We're trying to open up more airlocks for you, but we're having some trouble activating a few of the door computers remotely. We were able to get an airlock in the science habitat open, but most other locks seem difficult to activate from here. You'll have to create interface modules, which allow your ARP to physically activate the computers. First though, you'll need the diagram that allows item fabrication to create the modules. Return to the science habitat, and then head through the south airlock we just opened, which will get you to lunar area too. Try to find the D-A-R-E unit located somewhere on the surface. It should have the diagram you need in its storage modules. What's it there? Oh, it's the Discover and Analyze Robotic Explorer unit stationed in that area. We use these robots to scout out potential building spots for habitats. So your destination is Lunar Area 2, which can be found through the Science Habitat. Head back there and exit through the west airlock. Oh, and remember to make more connection conduits if you need them. Is there no is there really no map? The DARE unit should be somewhere in lunar area two. To find the robot, we must head through the science habitat south airlock. That's where we are. I have to go about this.
Tell me, give me a hint of where he is. I don't know about you, but the moon's pretty big. Actually, I don't know about you. You're pretty big too. Five this surface area some more. Why yes, here you are. Now then, let us discuss my fantastic exploratory findings. <laughs> you have earned the interface module diagram. We can now return to the construction habitat to install it in item fabrication. <sighs> that's that's a that was a long journey for something that was literally right there. Uh, we named it. 
Luna Nova? Because Luna means... Luna means moon. With this device, I will be able to interface with any locked object that displays red lights. Please note, my current software only allows let us start opening new doors and other objects. <laughs> Kicked it. Here you go. We're going to go into this room. Look for an opening. Okay. Gain this bro.
Oh! This tiny one! Practice. I did get my own second. I think this is this is my second one recording in this room, I think. Greetings, astronaut. Have you brought the requested allotment of construction mm -hmm. materials? What is your mission numerical designation? My unit is designated as Construct Habitats Autonomously Robot. But you can refer to me as Char, if you so desire. Oh, this will allow me to interface with more advanced circuit board repair challenges. We should return here when we have enough...
Well, guys, I'm not getting anywhere. This is not going anywhere. So, I think I'm going to call it. Yep. Well, guys, I'm Matthew Martho. This is Space Camp. Though I don't think it's a, much of a space camp anymore. It's more like space trouble. <laughs> Anyways, this is Space Camp. I'm Matthew Martho. Hit like if you like this video, subscribe for more awesome content, and until next time, bye bye.